Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. My deck is ready. I've decided to use the same deck that I used in the last duel, so no, I'm good now. <laughs> and let's begin the final duel! One match duel for six prizes. The legendary Dragonite deck, as you probably would have expected. <laughs> And I don't know what's up with the legendary grandmasters of legendness, but a lot of them use the gambler cards. Why do they use the gambler cards? I, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, Rain DDR deck is what I chose because of his Charizard line, plus the thing that no Pokémon has resistance to water-type attacks. So I figured that would be useful versus the rest. And hello, nice type matchup. <laughs> Alright, slap, to get it off to a good start. If only would have packed those plus powers, huh? No. <laughs> I'm more happy with energy removal and plus power, really. But, but both energy removal and plus power are useful if you can fit them in your deck. Anyway, I'm gonna potentially knock out that Charmander. That sounds pretty good to me, but I am thinking about doing stuff like maybe a Professor Oak on the next turn to get some more power cards, or maybe not. <laughs> I was just—I was actually gonna say I hope I get a Starmie somewhere along here because it would kind of, kind of give him some ire with the whole Star Freeze thing. But well, <laughs> uh, ooh, that Flail will do maximum damage to Star you if I attack with it. Hmm, maybe what I'll do here is evolve and not attack this turn and yeah I'll call it a turn here because I can recover a little bit later his uh, basic Pokemon not super powerful and as you can tell he doesn't really have fire energy to cause me ire with Charmander or Charmeleon at least to an extent but he, he's basically focused more on getting Charizard out more than anything I'm going to trade to Golduck, Quack, <laughs> and now I'm going to put that on there and hope that I can freeze that fish. Yeah! <laughs> but uh, anyway, the, the key to defeating him is to try and defeat him as fast as possible because his basic Pokémon for the most part are not super, super strong. So that's what you gotta do to take advantage of his deck, I guess you could say. The longer the duel goes on, the less of a chance you'll have at winning it. Uh, because he'll be able to get his power cards out. Hello, Blastoise and Squirtle! Oh, I could also computer search for a War Turtle, But uh, I can't evolve till next turn anyway, so what I think I'll do is hold on to the cards and see what I want to trade for uh, uh, War Turtle next turn. And uh, for now, I'm going to energy removal that Magikarp and finish off this Magikarp. Oh yeah! Poor Rod just doesn't seem to- oh, another Blastoise. Can't seem to be doing very much here. This is uh, working in my favor. <laughs> but as I said, uh, his deck, if you can get him early, you will be very pleased. And that's basically what I'm doing here. Alright, so this is why I held off on the computer search, because maybe I wanted to trade something else in my hand, like say, an extra copy of Blastoise and an extra copy of Squirtle. And I'm going to be going for two copies of War Total right in the row there. So I'm going to evolve, went a little too far there. And I might as well get, 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 get Articuno going here. And Star Freeze for the win, possibly? No. Well, he didn't power up this Magikarp with any energy card anyway, so maybe he doesn't have a water? Oh, he's gonna have a water now. <laughs> Chances are this is gonna be running out to the uh, last prize cards because of all these cards that he's gonna be drawing through here. So yeah, he's not powering up Magikarp, I was expecting a flail, but then again he probably knows that I'm just gonna recover anyway. So that's kinda pointless. I guess that's true, and I got my Rain Dance Blastoise going here, so I can power up whoever, wherever, <laughs> whenever. Star Freeze. Boop! Oh, bye, Magikarp. Kind of feel bad for defeating the fish. I mean, it's one of my favorites, but alas, it's got to go down in order for me to move forward. Okay. 
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll plop that on there. And now we got another seal, so I'll hold on to that. Star freeze, hopefully. Paralysis? Yes! Yes! Y E S. <laughs> uh, he might evolve to Dragonair, which is. Uh oh! That's one of his best! <laughs> Uh, Slam could very well knock out Starmie with just one coin flip because I wasn't able to recover because I wasn't expecting that, but oh well. So that, it already got some issues! <laughs> uh, because he could potentially wipe out my energy cards on the next turn, and then I won't be able to freeze dry. Oh god. <laughs> this is what I mean about his evolutions! <laughs> So he's, oh no, and he's also got the Healing Wind! This is the legendary Dragonite, by the way. So it's gonna heal 20 HP off of all of his Pokémon. Which is just one. <laughs> and here comes another version of the Slam! Uh-oh. Well, at least it didn't Hyper Beam my energy away. That's okay, then. I'm tempted the Blizzard. Just to do some damage to those ahead of time. Because if he puts out Dratini, uh, the freezing attack will knock it out. Uh, well, Char I guess Charmander's not quite as important to uh, use Blizzard on, but eh, it's gonna take two attacks to knock out Dragonite anyway, so freeze dry it is! Yeah! Alright. So we got 40 HP left, then I can Blizzard. And hopefully do damage to his bench Pokemon and not mine. Um, 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 um. Uh, I'll hold on to that. No, 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 wait. I, I do, I have to use that. What am I thinking? <laughs> ah, I did damage to my own bench Pokemon. Poopers. Well, at least the legendary Dragonite is gone. But really, that Dragonite's main power is the ability to heal upon its summoning, I guess you can say. So it's not that big of a deal unless he plays it at a very strategic place. Per se, maybe. Um, I'm gonna wanna hold on to that energy because I got the rain dance. And Blizzard away, that Dratini for the win. And Charmander is gonna take a little scratch damage. It's not gonna be happy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's Charizard! <laughs> I knew that was coming because it's the only Pokemon in play you could do Pokemon Breeder on. Oh, no double color synergy, huh? Okay. Uh, energy removal, that's that's pretty much gonna cinch the match for me because he's not gonna not gonna be able to knock out Articuno now, and I'm gonna be doing double damage to it. <laughs> Alright, I got another Articuno. Plop that on the bench, just in case things go awry, which I highly doubt. And head's coin flip doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> Uh, because he doesn't have any bench Pokemon anyway. But it's, you know, it's still the whole thing of just doing damage to uh, only his Pokemon just in case he plops something else down the Switch to or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I win the game! Woohoohoo! Oh yeah! That went by kind of quick, didn't it? <laughs> what on earth? Even I, Rod, have been defeated? Wonderful. This is wonderful. Congratulations, Mark. You have proven yourself worthy enough to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards! Woohoo! Except... We have a problem. There's another who has defeated us. We must do will him. No! No! Yes, that's right, it's me, Ronald! I have already inherited the legendary Pokémon cards! No, Ronald cannot be allowed. He, too, has earned the right to inherit the legendary Pokémon cards. Ronald, Mark, you two must duel to determine who will inherit the legendary Pokémon cards. So I'll say the rules. What? I didn't hear such rules. This is blasphemy. Alright, Ron. Is your deck ready, Mark? Oh, I would most certainly like to prepare for the duel. We could, you know, with a little diary save here. Should I duel him now or later? I'm thinking... now. <laughs> 
So here we go. Let's begin this ultimate duel! I was here first. The legendary Pokemon cards belong to me! I'll make it all too clear to you, Mark. It's a one-match duel with six prizes. Let it begin! And yeah, I'm using... <laughs> I'm using my Rain DDR deck again. The legendary Ronald deck. <laughs> so, there's a powerful Ronald, I'm Ronald, invincible Ronald, and <laughs> now a legendary Ronald. <laughs> well, we get the legendary Grandmaster's music for this too as well, and this is kind of, kind of iffy. But, 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 I think it'll be okay, because his Pokémon generally are sort of kind of fire-ish in a way, because yeah, it's got mostly fire energy and I don't really have to worry about anything else. Oh no! Oh no! That's bad. I do have to worry about that. He can't really attack with that because he doesn't have the fire energy and ha ha ha, you attacked yourself! <laughs> But it's, it's, he uses it as like a support Pokemon to try and hit my Pokemon with it. He does the same thing with uh, Articuno as well. So keep in mind that you might be surprised paralysis I mean, para para <laughs> paralyzed. And... I want... Uh, I don't have to do that, do I? I'll just do that and just slap that energy card away. Because what I was thinking is to kind of stall him out and then keep powering up Articuno, like in the background. Uh, that, that Zapdos is going to be completely useless to him. But uh, what it looks like he's going to be doing here is he's going to be in trouble. <laughs> because I'll be able to nick away his Pokemon's HP, and he's not really going to be doing much about this at the moment in time. Um, oh, he'll, he will be able to power, uh, grab some energy cards, though, with Fire Giver, because... Uh, he's only got the Fire Energy card in his deck, plus some double colorless uh, for his colorless Pokémon. But, you know, it's it's a thing of a colorless Pokémon take any any kind of energy card. So if he gets out of that Legendary Dragonite, and yes, he is playing all of the Legendary Pokémon cards, that could be an issue. And, you know, it also could be an issue are those Lightning Pokémon versus my Water Pokémon. Well, specifically the Jolteon, because, see, it, it's one of those special kinds of colorless EV evolutions that only require the colorless energy, but still attack with elemental uh, lightning attacks, so I best get that Articuno going there with uh, no weakness, and uh, perhaps stall out that Jolteon. That sound good to you? Good. <laughs> and... Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Slap! For the win! Hopefully. <laughs> I'm probably going to take it down to 40 HP and- oh shoot, oh shoot, I was going to say- oh, he's going to try and get more energy, because I thought he was going to try and uh, uh, zap my Staryu with Zapdos, but no, he's not going to do that, interesting. I guess he just wants that fire energy, because I energy removed him. <laughs> There's only so much energy he has in his deck, and I can kind of suck his energy away with Goldock as well as uh, my energy removal cards, so we'll see how that works for him. <laughs> Hmm, Psyduck, very nice, but I'm gonna keep focusing on Articuno for now, and slap. The reason why I'm focusing on Articuno is because I'll be able to kind of surprise him with a blizzard and wipe out that Zapdos, and potentially do damage to his bench Pokémon. <laughs> Golduck is coming out to play. Uh-huh. Articuno is coming for the attack. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. I got a pretty beastly Pokemon out here now, so I don't have to worry too much about his. Although he's probably gonna put out Jolteon. Uh, we'll see. Yep, I figured Jolteon. But uh, we're gonna see how much damage he can do. Double kick. Uh oh. Uh oh, not liking the looks. Of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm. I think I'm gonna go with the Star Freeze. I'm um, not Star Freeze, excuse me, the uh, uh, Ice Beam the Freeze because I'll be able to attack. I mean, I'll be able to knock it out in two. I mean, I'll have to knock it out in two turns anyway. And if I paralyze it, I'll I'll prevent his next attack. But that didn't work out all too well. Oh well. Oh no, that's not good. 
Mmm, he's powering up Moltres! His deck really is becoming legendary! Okay, maybe not. He is Ronald. <laughs> we can't let Ronald win, can we? Oh no, no, we can't have that. Um, I think I'm gonna focus on Golduck here, because I'll be able to knock out Jolteon no matter what here. So, having a energy removal Pokémon going when Moltres is coming sounds like a pretty good plan. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> oh, he's powering up Dratini? What? Why didn't he go for... I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna get a hopefully Blastoise going here. Uh, I can't really get a Dugong out at this moment in time because I don't have the seals, so that means no Dugong is coming this game because I only have two copies of the- Hello! <laughs> I can't evolve this turn because yeah, because I already evolved into War Turtle, but I got it. I've got it. Um, yeah, I I think I will Blizzard. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. Now Moltres doesn't have the typical fire weakness, but it's still gonna be knocked out in two turns anyway from the Blizzard. So I am pretty pleased by that. And let's go Blastoise! Oh yeah, there's the engine of the deck. <laughs> I think this deck is more powerful than the Charmander and Friends deck now, actually. Um, what I'm gonna do here is Super Energy Removal by discarding that and wiping out the energy on Dratini. Uh, well, Dratini, excuse me, and uh, wiping uh, just to prevent the potential Hyper Beam or Slam, one of the two because that's going to take him one colorless energy plus something else to get one of his two attacks going. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to the energies and do another blizzard. Woo! And it does damage to his bench Pokémon as well. This is not looking pretty for Ronald! Oh no, it's not! <laughs> Uh, he's probably gonna get another basic and force me to take my last prize card. Yeah, oh, Kangaskhan of all things, too. It's got so much HP. <laughs> uh, looks like he's focusing on powering up Kangaskhan, which I personally would, too, in this particular situation. But, that's not gonna work for him. <laughs> uh, I'll just do a freeze-dry here. It's gonna take me a couple attacks to knock out Kangaskhan anyway with its 90 HP, so, yeah. There we go. What else he's got? So, uh, gonna fetch a card? Uh, I thought so. This is really the only thing he can do here, and he didn't knock out a single one of my Pokémon. This is feeling pretty one-sided here. Um, what I could do to be extra cheap is uh, switch to Golduck and keep hyper-beaming his uh, energy cards away, because I have the power to power it up, but what I'll do here is just uh, try and defeat Kangaskhan as fast as possible. Uh, with a blizzard here, and uh, we'll see if I can do- oh, no, he's gonna switch then, I betcha. Uh, no? Oh, okay, oh wait, that's right, Kangaskhan has a 3 retreat cost. Can't really do that without a switch card then, or a scoop up card then, huh? <laughs> um, well I win, obviously, but let's see what I can do here for the fun of it. Let's unload our hand. Uh, um, uh, mm, for the fun of it as well, Professor Oak <laughs> it generates a tremendous amount of advantage. I know I could have did this earlier, but you know I didn't really need the energy. Um, mm, mm, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I know I'm going overboard here, but I'm just having fun. <laughs> Professor Oak, again. <laughs> this is the power of the Rain Dance stack. Um, uh, <laughs> what would you do in this sort of situation uh, if you were against my deck? I, I don't really know. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but well, it happened. <laughs> and I don't have any Pokemon to evolve. Uh, wait, maybe I kind of do. Um, wait, uh, yeah, no, wait, no, uh, yeah, I'm done here. Blizzard. <laughs> Woohoo! Doesn't matter the coin flip because I get to take my last prize card. 
But seriously, what would you do in a situation like this when I could just generate a huge amount of attacking power, uh, energy advantage, uh, that sort of thing? I don't know, really! <laughs> I mean, yeah, basic Pokémon tend to be king in this particular generation of the card game, but if you if the Rain Dance deck gets going like this, it's I don't even think the basic Pokémon would have much. Uh, I mean, I uh, would have a lot of uh, advantage. No, no, how how could I lose? I'm sorry, but the legendary Pokémon cards have chosen Mark. Legendary Pokémon cards vanished from Reynolds' deck. Yeah. <laughs> No! My, my legendary Pokémon cards! No! No! The Earth Vader, no! <laughs> Congratulations, Mark! You are a card master, worthy of inheriting the legendary Pokémon cards! Woo! Legendary Pokémon cards recognize you as a true master. Now, go through to the Hall of Honor to receive the legendary cards. Let's chat with the people first. You played a wonderful match. The legendary cards seem pleased to be passed on to you, Mark. Hurry and go through to the All Hall of Honor. Let's see, Jack. Please build a powerful deck around my card. Congratulations! My legendary card belongs to you. Please take good care of this card. Congratulations! You're the champ. My Zapdos card belongs to you. Ah! Uh, I can't leave. Mark, this is that is not the way to the Hall of Honor. Hurry, Mark! Go through to the Hall of Honor. All right, let's go. You can take a little exploration lap around this back place as well, too, but let's go in. Oh. Oh. Hey, what is this thing here? The legendary auto deck machine has been turned on! What is this craziness? Well, first, yeah, this is a secret auto deck machine. These are the decks that the legendary grandmasters use, but this deck right here is something that reveals to you two very secret and very special illusion cards. A very special deck made of rare Pokemon cards. <clears throat> so first, legendary card, uh, I mean illusion card, Venusaur, level 64 here. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may use this power. Your active Pokemon and defending Pokemon are longer, no longer asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. That's pretty beastly. <laughs> and uh, Mega Drain heals as well, so yeah. Um, this, along with um, this Mew here, the Mystery Attack Mew, does a random amount of damage to defending Pokemon and may cause a random effect to defending Pokemon. Uh, it tends to do around 10 to 20 damage. I don't remember it doing more than that. But uh, the random effect thing is pretty pretty tricky because it can poison, paralyze, you know, that sort of thing. All any type of effect. Uh, so that's a pretty tricky little Mew card, if a bit uh, haphazard. Now, how do you get these two cards? Well, you get them through Card Pop. Yeah, you have to randomly get them through Card Pop, and um, you can, since. You can't card pop with the same person twice, you have to find two different people to get two copies of the same card that would generate a Mew or Venusaur to be able to build a stack. So this deck is extremely difficult to build, and uh, these two cards are extremely difficult to get a hold of as well, so that's why they're known as the Illusion cards. Uh, I'll, I'm probably, since I can't really card pop off an emulator, I'm probably just going to uh, uh, Game Shark them on here. <laughs> But, you know, they're randomized anyway, so Game Shark just speed things along, basically. Anyway, the podium of glowiness! The four legendary Pokémon cards float, glowing in the air! Actually, I only see one there, but whatever. <laughs> I got the legendary Moltres! Woohoohoo! And I'm sure you know of its abilities by now. <laughs> Seven, oh yeah, and I'm sure you know of its abilities by now as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and Zapdos too, of course. And I'm pretty sure you know its abilities, so I can relatively quick. I mean, click through this relatively quickly. And finally, the legendary Dragonite. Oh yeah. <clears throat> legendary Pokemon cards speak to you. That's kind of creepy, actually. A card 
speaking to you? No, forget about it. You who have inherited us. Great card, Master. Our Master must not forget. Inheriting us does not make you a Pokemon Card Master. A true Pokemon Card Master is one who has the skill to use the abilities of the different cards and the courage to duel powerful opponents. And most of all, the ability to love the Pokemon trading card game no matter what, win or lose, a new journey has just begun. But first, the credits! Ah! The main game has been thwarted. And as usual, I like to say, I did not make the game, these awesome people did, I just made the walkthrough on it to help and entertain people. There's still a bunch of cards to collect, stuff to do, and whatnot in the post-game. So the game isn't really over, 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 but I'll consider it over once I get all the cards. <laughs> you know, one copy of each card in my uh, collection. But, uh, um, for the legendary cards, you actually can get multiple copies of them, up to two on a save file, if you go and defeat the, uh, uh, Grandmasters again. So it's a little bit tedious, um, especially since you only get one more card per run. Like, on the next run, if I were to go to the Grandmasters, I would get only one legendary Moltres card, but none of the others. So then I'd have to go through it again, and then I get a Lapras card. Then I go through it again, I get the Arctic... I'm not a Lapras card, excuse me. <laughs> I get a Zapdos card. Why did I say Lapras? And then anyway, I go through it again, and then I get an Articuno card. And then I go through it again, and then I get a copy of the Legendary Dragonite. And then if I go through it one more time after that, I wouldn't get any more copies of those cards. So in order to build um, the decks... Oh, there's Imakuni up there. <laughs> So in order to build the decks from the auto deck machine, uh, you know, after you beat the Grandmasters, what you would have to do is uh, uh, beat the Grandmasters multiple times uh, in order to get the cards you need. Unless, you know, you don't, uh, unless you only care about the Moltres deck. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's entirely up to you. You've already got one copy of the Legendary cards at this moment in time, so it's up to you whether or not you would like to get a couple more. Oh, and by the way, uh, going through the Grandmasters again, you will not be able to rebattle Ronald, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so you'll never see his legendary Ronald deck again on this particular, I mean, on your particular save file once you defeat him and inherit the legendary cards first, which kind of makes sense, uh, because he lost the legendary cards, so he doesn't have those cards in his deck for the legendary Ronald deck and whatnot. But it, it's kind of silly that he wouldn't be there, considering that he did defeat them before, and he could, quote-unquote, re-inherit the legendary Pokémon cards again, um, a la Gary style at the Indigo Plateau of the first generation Pokémon games. But, well, that's just how this game works. And, yep, you can't re-battle him, unfortunately. Uh, at least not, not rebattle him with that deck. Uh, you can find him randomly at future challenge cups, which again appear randomly throughout the game, um, throughout the post game. Excuse me, uh, as, as you turn off the game, similar to uh, um, the random appearances of Imakuni in a way. Only it's every so and so uh, turn off and on the game restart sort of things. Uh, but Imakuni appears after every game uh, turn off and on sort of thing. And, uh, there we go! There's the credits! Not really any dialogue or sort of like, hey, this is what happened after you beat the game sort of thing. Just like a little slideshow of what went on here. Alright! Alright! I just hit the start button to go back to the title screen. And with that, I'm gonna end off this part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I begin the post-game stuff! Oh yeah! By the way, we now have 196 cards out of 226. Actually, it's 228 because of the illusion cards. Yeah, the illusion cards are added to the uh, total total of all cards in existence. They just keep those uh, two illusion cards, you know, the Mew and Venusaur, uh, hidden from people, uh, unless you get uh, unless you notice them in the auto deck machine past the Grandmasters, or just happen to get them in the card pop, which is, which as I said, is extremely, extremely rare. 
Anyway, ending off part here. Hope you enjoyed. See you next part.